Here we go, Bob and Otter Group pace truck to the infield. We're ready to rock and roll off turn four. First of five heat races, eight laps the distance. Creed Kavanaugh, Bryce Lucius, Perry Young Guns up front gonna bring us down to the green. Bryce Lucius right down to the bottom of the racetrack and grab the point out of turn two. Here comes Cap Henry into that second spot from his fourth starting position. Creek coming off back to third, the fourth and final transfer spot now to Caleb Henry. Travis Philo, Tim Schaefer, TJ Michael, Luke Griffith, and Lance Heinberger. Round out the field for the lead. Here comes Cap Henry, top shelf in one and two. Big run on the high side of turn two of Bryce Lucius. Lucius goes to the cushion. New leader Cap Henry from his fourth starting spot. Travis Philo into the fourth and final transfer position. Caleb Henry back to fifth. Here comes Tim Schaefer into the fifth spot. There's the cross flags, four in, four to go. Watch that battle for the final transfer spot. Travis Philo has it. Tim Schaefer wants it out of turn four. Cap Henry pulling away from Bryce Lucius. Creed Kemenaw solidly in that third running spot. Laps winding down two to go. One more time around for Cap Henry. Bryce Lucius, those two will be locked into a dash. Cap Henry through turns three and four. He will take the perfect heat race win over Bryce Lucius. Creek Kemenaw, final transfer to Travis Philo. Another group piece truck to the infield. Eight laps of distance. Heat race number two goes green. Zane Duvall into the lead in turns one and two. Justin Clark back to second. Greg Wilson, your quick qualifier in this heat, up to the third spot, looking for second down the back stretch. Greg Wilson to take the runner up spot out of turn four. Behind him, a big scramble for that final transfer position. The 21 of Larry Kingsey, the 10 SR of Keith Shepard and Casey Jenersek in the 11N. Casey to be holding on to that fourth and final transfer spot. As Zayn DeVault has checked out, out front. Greg Wilson into that second spot for a dash. Justin Clark starting to rally a little bit though, putting a little pressure on Greg Wilson for that runner up spot. Larry King seed in the fourth and final transfer position. Casey Jenerzek in fifth. Keith Shepard in the sixth spot. Mitch Harbaugh. Jacob Beckenwald. And the eighth of Brayton Phillips. Good to see Phillips back with us. Got upside down on opening night here in that eight machine. Zane DeVault pulling away in this one. His lead almost two and a half seconds.
Elliott will cruise into the lead in turns one and two. Jordan Ryan, his first outing of the season into the second spot. Here comes Ricky Peterson's been doing a little traveling in the spring into the third spot. Battling for the final transfer position, a pair of 22s. Cole Duncan has the spot. Brandon Smithholler wants it. Adam Keckage. Cody Brewer and Frank Neal round out the field. Also, the two fastest qualifiers are in a transfer spot would move into the dash. And if Colt Duncan holds on to a transfer spot, he would be one of those moving to a dash. Oh, Bobby Elliott in this one. Duncan up to challenge Ricky Peterson for that third spot. As Bobby Elliott has pulled away. Two and a half second lead as laps wind down two to go. Jordan Ryan comfortably in the second spot. White flag in the air for Bobby Elliott. flag for Bobby Elliott. Jordan Ryan will come home second, third to Ricky Peterson. Final transfer to Cole Duncan. Brandon Smithaller, Adam Kekic, Cody Brewer, Frank Neal. On a group pace truck to the infield. Stuart Brubaker, Darren Knight are going to bring us down to the green flag for heat race number four and five. Knight of Stuart Brubaker side by side on a turn two. Here comes Cale Thomas. Thomas with a fast sprint car tonight. And Robert Robinall going to stop on the back stretch to bring out a caution flag. Cale Thomas led a bunch of the feature a couple weeks ago here and had a heart malfunction in the steering. Cost him the win. Here we go, green out. Stuart Brubaker going to grab the lead out of turn two. Cale Thomas around Darren Nida for the second spot. Nida fights back to the inside in the three and four. Stuart Brubaker leads lap one over Cale Thomas, Darren Nida, Nate Dussel, DJ Boos, Tyler Gunn, and Mike Keegan.
flag for the fifth and final heat race. Emerson Axum grabs the lead from Trey Jacobs down the back stretch. to Sean Ray Hall. We're going to need some kids to come down to the gate after this heat. After this heat to help with our dash draw, please. So after this checkered flag falls, kids head down here to the gate behind the flag stand, please. Redraw, Cap Henry. Okay. 
Hold on. What do you got, young lady? Let's turn it over. First and dash one, Cap Henry. Not a good start to the season, but uh, making up for it tonight. Yeah, if it could go wrong last week, it did, including me. And, um, you know, just Zach and uh, Chad and Chris, everybody back there doing a really good job. And uh, car's good tonight. And, um, hopefully we can keep this going. All right, Cap Henry, start first in the first dash. Zane DeVault, we're up. He's excited. Hey, you put the uh, – let me, let me – before he draws. You put the lane racing – Back in a, a heat race win, how does it feel to be in this car? Man, it feels awesome, you know, racing for Patty and Brett. Uh, can't thank them enough. You know, there's a lot of people behind them and, and get this thing up and down the road. And uh, so hopefully we can, we can keep it up front tonight. All right, well, it's all going to be on you. It's all on you, okay? Draw one card. Zane DeVault, he gets fourth and dash two, okay? Bobby Elliott, you're next up. Bobby? You don't have a lot of laps around this whole place, but uh, you look pretty darn good in that heat race. Yeah, this new J&J &J is sporty, man. Let me tell you, I, I just can't thank my sponsors enough. Chris Lincoln Automotive, SS Stripping, Top Line Titanium, J&J &J Chassis, KRJ Race Products. You know, they all help this 5E get around here pretty quick. Well, let's see where you're going to draw. Reach in there. He's wearing a Devin Moran late model shirt, too. That should help. There you go. What is it? Second and dash one. There we go. Bobby Elliott, Stuart Brubaker. Stewie, you're up next. You know, we almost had to throw a caution at heat race. You, you left a lot of rust out on the racetrack. Yeah, I did. Thank God for that caution so I could make up for it. I, I got mad and got up on the wheel after that. Uh, the car looked off awful good, though. It's, it's tough early in the season when you don't race a whole lot during the course of a winter, right? Yeah, it is tough. To, and, then, and then you get started and then you get rained out and then you'll run one night and then you're hoping to run two nights a week and it takes a while to knock the rust off we tried some stuff last week we weren't that good and bill went back to the drawing board and the same cars last year so we're fine okay let's see where stuart brubaker is going to start fifth and dash two for stuart brubaker emerson axum did he make it up here yet let's just pick a kid here he comes i think <laughs> Emerson, uh, you put Bolt in the wing on this year after a good USAC season last year. Uh, this kind of came together a little late in the, for, for our team, didn't it? Yeah, um, it did. But, uh, you know, I got notified of, you know, what what Tim's plans were back in October. So I was able to put something together. Uh, thankfully, he, he uh, let me know pretty soon. And, uh, you know, Dale Klasmeyer and Scott Petrie kind of jumped aboard and, uh, you know, said they want to go racing with me. So, you know, just super thankful for them guys and uh, Adam and my dad that uh, put in long hours getting this, this team put together. I mean, it's a lot of hard work to, to start a team from the bottom. And, um, you know, we're just trying to go out and race and, and uh, get this thing rolling. All right, let's see where Emerson Axum Pick one card there. Third and dash one for Emerson Axum. Bryce Lucius, you're next up. Boy, you, you win that first feature. I got to imagine this past week was a couple weeks is a whirlwind for you. You were, you were on some podcasts. You, you got to do a lot of talking. For somebody, I know you, you're a little shy when it comes to that stuff, but if you keep winning, you're going to have to get used to it. Yeah, you know, it's been pretty cool ever since we won. Just a lot of people have been have, uh, messaging me and everything, being able to go on two podcasts and all that. That's what, there in the heat race, I felt like we had a car that was able to win, but I just made a mistake there in three and, Try to run the top, but hopefully we'll see what Jackson draws here and see if he can get us in the front. I like Jackson's hat, tater tot. Is that a nickname, Jackson? Tater tot? No? Do you like tater tots? All right. I like tater tots. Let's see where Bryce. Fourth and dash one. Okay, Greg Wilson. I'm going to stay on here so everybody can see you. I, I had to see what your age was when you were qualifying. You're catching me. I'll never catch you, bud. <laughs> huh? But, but I've been around a little bit. I don't know. One of the old uh, guys that rode from Mid America Auto Racing News is back walking around, and he says, I wrote about you back when that was still around. 
But uh, that, that tells your age right there. You you were going to go race with the World of Outlaws, I believe, but the, the weather and, and, you know, the small family operation that you have kind of said, you know what, let's just wait it out a little bit more and stay close to home. Yeah, I mean, you know, tough. that, that first weekend was pretty rough on us. Uh, it about killed everything on that race car, and just the financials of that and uh, the workload of that uh, put us behind. But uh, it's always great to come to Attica. You know, it's always great to see all you fans here. And uh, thanks for coming out and still supporting racing when you could sit at home and watch it on Dirt Vision. It's, it's way better when you get a little dirt in your beer and uh, hear, some hear some loud sprint cars rolling around this joint. All right, let's see where Greg Wilson's going to start. Sixth in dash two. You're fired. <laughs> All right, Jordan Ryan, his first night out for the 2024 season. Did, did you get the rust knocked off too? Are you ready to go now? I was uh, real worried about it today, being anxious, but once you get back in, it's like riding a bike every year. So uh, I'm just glad we got speed right out of the gate again and uh, using the car we ended with last year. So. Uh, just see if we can keep it up tonight and maybe finally snag one here. I'm sick of running second. <laughs> oh, ain't that the truth? Sick of running second. Yeah, but you had, you had a pretty good offset and you got married. Yeah, yeah, uh, I did. And uh, everything's going good on that side. And uh, hopefully keep racing now for a while and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what Jordan Ryan gets. Jordan Ryan will start fifth in dash one. Jordan Ryan fifth in dash one. Cale Thomas, your overall quick qualifier. Like this kid's style, he wears shorts. It's cold, I know, but we're men. We wear shorts. You know, I, I made mention in the heat, you led a lot of laps here a couple weeks ago on opening night, and, and just the mechanical failure kind of cost you that deal. But you got to be really encouraged how fast that 23 car is. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you, you know, you never want to run into a problem like that, but sometimes it happens, and we're lucky to uh, salvage a second-place finish. And uh, Obviously, uh, we carried that speed on to tonight with the uh, qualifying first and then also uh, running second in the heat. So uh, get a good draw here from Grayson and see what we can do. All right, let's see where Cale Thomas will start in one of the two dashes. First and dash two. There you go, Cale Thomas. Trey Jacobs, you're up next. Trey, you had a pretty good off season too. You became a dad. That is so cool. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was awesome. You know, the year started pretty rough, uh, losing my dog, but then uh, gained a daughter less than a month later. So it's been incredible. Uh, Isla and, and her mom are at home watching on Dirt Vision. So hi, girls. Uh, can't wait to get her out here eating some dirt before long. Well, let's see where you're going to start in the dash. Second in dash two. There we go. Trey Jacobs, second in dash two. Now our two fastest qualifiers are going into the dash. Cole Duncan. Third and dash two or sixth and dash one. That's your options. <laughs> hey, you know what? It, it, this is where qualifying helped you, though. Yeah, for sure. Uh, makes the heat race a little bit easier on you. You know, I, I felt really good in qualifying, obviously, and um, didn't feel great. I mean, I felt okay in the heat, but you just don't take the chances that you'd have to if you got to run the top two. So um, we'll go from here, keep working on it, and uh, see where we go. 40 laps tonight. That's a long time in this racetrack, and you usually come on pretty strong in those long races. Yeah, it's hard to say. We feel like we've been struggling because it's only our third night out. But, uh, yeah, I like the long races, and uh, hopefully it gets cleaned up here and, and moves around a little bit and – Maybe we'll be at the front at the end. Let's see what uh, Cole Duncan draws for the dash. Third and dash two. Third and dash two. Nate Dussel, you're next up. Our final dash draw. <laughs> you know, a couple weeks ago, I saw you on uh, social media. You said, you know, for the first time in a long time, you felt comfortable racing uh, 410 at Attica Raceway Park. That, uh, that, that helps coming back here tonight, then. Yeah, I've uh, despised walking through the gates here for the last couple years. It just We're just not fast, and uh, it's not fun being out on a racetrack with a bunch of good drivers when you're not fast. So uh, it feels like a complete 180 this offseason. Made some changes, and, um, you know, I, I really can't thank Craig and um, Jason for all the work they did. It, I feel comfortable, and it's fun to be back at Attica. And ultimately, I love this place, so it, it's, it's, it's great to, to kind of be back in that position. Didn't you become a dad, too, in the offseason? 
I did. Uh, so I definitely have to say hi to my wife and Lainey uh, back home. Uh, can't wait for the weather to get a little better and have them here with us. And uh, yeah, it's uh, been an incredible experience. You know, it's no one can really explain it to you until, you until it happens and you hold that little girl in your arms and it kind of changes your life. Absolutely. Let's just get the preliminary on and you can turn it over. And it is sixth in dash one. Nate Dussel, that'll wrap it up for our dash redraw. We'll go back to heat races two through four for the 305s. David Hoppus and Dustin Feller, your last row, go pit side. Bob Monado Group pace truck to the infield. Here we go, Ben Watson, Brendan Torok, going to bring us down to the green flag. Look at John Ivey in that yellow 49i on the move. Ivy up to the second spot. Jimmy McGrath back to third. Dylan Watson, the fourth and final transfer position. Brennan Torak out front of this one, though. John Ivy inching a little closer to Torak out of turn two. Torak off the racetrack, back on, loses valuable real estate. Here comes John Ivy down to the inside for the lead. Ivy takes a peek to the inside of Torque out of turn two. They run nose to tail down the back stretch. Here comes Ivy, big run to the bottom of three and four. Pulls alongside of Torque, cross flags in the air. New leader, John Ivy. Jimmy McGrath runs in that third spot, fourth and final transfer position, the rookie Dylan Watson. Little problems here on the front stretch. Brandon Torok in second, Jimmy McGrath Jr. third, fourth to Dylan Watson, and Ben Watson round out the field. Pass that. Truck works with Ohio restart cone. Green back up. John Ivey pulls away. Here comes Jimmy McGrath Jr. Tries to squeeze to the outside of Brendan Torek for second. That would be a redraw position. White flag in the air. Here we go. McGrath, big slider on Torek in one and two. Through turns three and four. One final time. John Ivey going to take the heat race win. Turn two. Keep in mind that's a redraw 
one of the top 10 starting spots in the feature. Dustin Stroop caught a run over there in turn four, almost got into the side of Logan Real. Real goes down the bottom of the racetrack to block Dustin Stroop's advantage. White flag in the air for Mike Moore. will come home second. Here's the race for third, give it to Logan Reel. Here we go, green out for the fourth and final heat race. On four Main Spring Nationals, night number two. Dustin Dynam with the lead. Hang on, Tyler Shuley bouncing around in turns one and two. Dustin Dynan out front, good race for second. Seth Schneider in the 36 down to the inside of Tyler Sheets in the 10 TS. They go wing to wing on a turn two. Tyler Schulich, your quick qualifier into the fourth and final transfer spot. Sean Mulaney runs in fifth. Jackson Sabito, Stephen Watts, and Brian Rassum round out the field. the cross flags, four laps in, four to go. Three laps to go, Dustin Dynan, Seth Schneider, Tyler Schulich now your top three. Into the fourth and final transfer spot, Tyler Sheets, but here comes Sean Valenti racing to his inside. Two to go. Flies out front. 
front of this one, but Nate Dussel, what a show. From last to second, with two laps to go. Good race for that fourth spot. Bobby Elliott and Emerson Axum go wing to wing down the backstretch. White flag, one more time around for Cap Henry. Thomas. Second, going to go to Trey Jacobs. Third, Zane DeMont. Fourth, Greg Wilson. Cole Duncan and Stuart Brubaker round out the field. Number one set to go green on a turn four. Now pedal to the floor, green out. Caleb Henry grabs the point on a turn two. Ted Schaefer races to his outside. Nine Adam Kekic in the 5K on the bottom of the racetrack on the move. New leader. Steel City Outlaw, Tim Schaefer, four-time All-Star champion. Fighting back though, Caleb Henry. Henry Malquit in the third position, fourth Brandon Spinhaller, battle for fifth, Adam Kekic in the 5K, in the 19 of TJ Michael.
Green out for the final B main. Casey Jenerzek grabs the lead in the one and two. DJ Foose into the second spot. Jenerzek pulling away now from Foose. Tyler Gunn runs in the third position. Behind them, the battle for fourth, Connor Morrell and Keith Shepard. Oh, we got Mike Keegan sideways. In turns one and two to bring out the caution. Seven to go in this one. Casey Cheddarzek pulls away again out front of this one. DJ Foose in second, Connor Morrell now into the third spot. Another gun back to four. Big wheel stand for Mitch Harbaugh there on the front stretch. Jenerzek out front of this one. DJ Foose comfortably in second. Connor Morrell in third. Tyler Gunn in that fifth spot. Laps winding down. Two to go in this one. to go. It's been all Casey Zebold. Top four pulled away as they race to the white flag. Eldon Miller gets the run. Turn four. Gets sideways. That opens the door for Paul Weaver for the final transfer spot. Checker flag for Casey Zebold. Bradley Bateson will get second. Final transfer spot. Here we go. Alden Miller. Ben 
Watson leads the charge off of turn two. Tyler Sheets in that second spot. Jackson's going to be in the final transfer position. Oh, hang on. Tyler Sheets, car snapped around on him. What a save by Tyler Sheets there. Jackson Sabino. Is Ben Watson looking impressive in that beautiful 18 car out front of this one? in the air. Lucius with a flyer at one and two. 
crossover in the three and four. Gap Henry, Cale Thomas, Bryce Lucius now into the third spot. Nate Dussel back to fourth, fifth to Trey Jacobs. Six, Greg Wilson, seventh, Zane DeVault. Eighth, Bobby Elliott, ninth, Emerson Axum, Jordan Ryan, your top ten. Heavy lap traffic ahead of your leaders. And another couple of laps. Cap Henry, Cale Thomas. Eight laps in this time by. Lap cars running single file in front of your leaders now. Don't look now, but Bryce Lucius starting to reel in. Cale Thomas for that runner up spot. Lap cars now ahead with 10 laps in this time across the stripe. Your leader has to deal with the lap car. Heavy, heavy, heavy lap traffic now. Oh, here comes Cale Thomas, big run. Oh, out of the ballpark. In turn number one, big flip. Bryce Lucius, big monster flip in turn one. He's out of the car already. Thomas looking for his third career win at Attica Raceway Park in 410 racing. Back to green. Nate Dussel takes a peek at the inside of Kale Thomas for that runner up spot. Max 
Axum on the move. Axum up into the fourth position in that 27 car. Gap Henry pulls away. Emerson Axum started ninth in this one. He's up to fourth. Now he's in third. The 27 car on the move. Keep an eye on Emerson Axum. He's found something on the cushion here at Attica Raceway Park. Emerson Axum into the second spot. The lead though, 3.3 seconds for Cap Henry. Five flanges go in the air for Cap Henry. And Emerson Axum into second. Let's see if he can take some time off. He takes two tenths of a second. Heavy lap traffic ahead for your leader. Four laps to go. Axum down to 2.9 seconds. Three laps to go for Cap Henry. Emerson Axum 2.4 seconds back. Race for third now. Greg Wilson into the third spot. Trey Jacobs fourth. Nate Dussel back to fifth. Two laps to go. The lead, 1.6 seconds. The white flag will be in the air. One more time around. Out of turn four, his 17th career win at Attica Raceway Park for Cap Henry. What a drive for Emerson Axum in second, Greg Wilson in third. Helmet coming off. Make some noise for Cap Henry. Well, you know, they don't have mirrors on this thing, but you had to pick up the pace there after that last restart. Emerson Axum was coming. I was, I'll be honest, that was all I had to hang on to that thing. I needed every one of those red flags and cautions, and the uh, car was really good. I'd say I was probably about 50%. And, uh, yeah, I knew we had to get going. I was kind of trying to pick my pace there and just maintain for a long time. And Cale, you know, showed me his nose wing early once and then in traffic got by me. And luckily, um, you know, caution come out and we got it back. And, um, you know, this just goes off to these guys over here. Um, you know, I, <laughs> I tore this thing up last week and they put it back together and didn't give up. And, uh, you know, it's <laughs> this is the first time Aaron's ever been at one of my races and saw me win. So that's pretty cool after all, the, as long as we've been dating. So, uh, you know, just luckily premier planning, you know, SCS gearbox. Um, Primal Tea Shops, Ohio Logistics, um, Elliott's Custom Trailers and Carts, um, you know, FK Rod Ends, King Racing Products, Maxim, uh, you know, Gary with the Griff's Engines, obviously Jeff Ward Demolition, just so grateful for everybody involved in this thing. Cap Henry gets it done for the 17th time of his career here at Attica Raceway Park. As they come out of turn four, make some noise, Attica Raceway! Signal we go racing on a turn four next time by 25 laps of distance. Raceway Park, it's time to jump and jive for 25. Jimmy McGrath Jr. looking for his first ever sprint car win, bolts into the lead.
Grant Jr. up front, Brandon Bourne second, Steve Randall third, Dustin Dyer fourth, Jamie Miller your top five. Dining down here in turn four. Set sails down the back stretch. K 
Casey Zebold on the move. She started 17th, ends up to 7th. Jimmy McGrath Jr., the distance of a heat race for his first sprint car win. He's had wins in dirt trucks, but never in a sprint car. He's been oh so close. Can he hang on for seven more laps? His lead, nearly two seconds. Four laps to go. Coming though, he's chopped four tenths of a second off the lead. Big bobble in the run for Jimmy McGrath Jr. Heavy lap traffic. Here comes Steve Rando. Two laps to go. The white flag will be in the air for Jimmy McGrath Jr. One more time around. Cleared the lap cars. Two left hand turns. His first ever sprint car win for Jimmy McGrath Jr. Steve Randall will come home second. Third to Brandon Moore. Fourth, Tyler Schulink. And top five to John Ivey. Going up top, his first ever sprint car win. Jimmy McGrath Jr. It's about damn time. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, that's, it feels good. It don't feel real, that's for sure. Well, you know, rest it was a marathon race, restart after restart after restart. Track had a lot of character, in it, to say the least. You had to pick which ruts not to hit. You had Jamie Miller closing in on you. He hit a rut. He gets upside down. You got in the heavy lap traffic there last four laps. You had to be thinking, oh, my God, something's going to happen. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about a lot. Uh, <laughs> just drove as hard as I could right through the middle and hoped it stuck and stayed on all four. <laughs> well, it did. And congratulations. It's surreal, isn't it? Your first sprint car win. It very is. Thank you. Some people you want to thank, Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> that awesome race wear, D2X excavating. Uh, Wood Wizard, Sulphur Town Pub, real custom fab, level of performance, level utilities. Uh, BRS, Kissel Race Products, DGGI, Napa Fremont Auto Parts, and then uh, got to thank Matt Farrell for helping me out tonight, Noah Denslow, and my dad, for the most part. That's it. I'm good. Oh, yeah. My wife, Courtney, wherever she's at. I hugged her a minute ago. <laughs> Congratulations. Jimmy McGrath gets his first ever sprint car win to wrap up the Core Main Spring Nationals. Thank you, everybody, for coming out tonight. Sure do appreciate it.